Francis Kere, the architect who wants to change the paradigm of architecture using few resources to achieve excellence. In this video, I want to show you why he was laureated with the Pritzker Architecture Prize in 2022 and why his practice makes us question ourselves about the real purpose of architecture. Francis Carey is an African architect and social activist who was born on 10 April 1965 in Gado, Burkina Faso. He graduated in architecture at the Technical University of Berlin in 2004, and in 2005 he founded the Carey Architecture Studio, a firm focused on the development of projects with a social impact using eco-friendly and local materials in a modern but African-inspired approach. During the years, he was received recognition for his works. Winner of Aga Khan Award for Architecture in 2004, Global Awesome Award in 2012, Designer of the 2017 Serpentine Pavilion, and this year the Pritzker Architecture Prize. His architecture is deeply influenced by his experience as a child in Gado, Burkina Faso, where there was a strong sense of community in his village. Most of the daily base activities were developed together, like securing food, water, or even building the houses. So his architecture transmits that approach today, with a profound understanding of the place, the local traditions and the local problems. This way he used local materials that everyone in the community is already using, but in an innovative approach, solving heating, lighting or even budget challenges. He developed a very expressive but low-tech architecture, characterized by double roofs, thermal mass, wind towers, indirect lighting, cross ventilation, and shade chambers. His strong sense of community is the driving force of his architecture, that are developed for and by the community. Here everyone is involved in the building process, contributing for the empowerment and development of local people. In this sense, we must think that his approach is a game changer in the way we see and think sustainability in architecture. And it can be a good example for architects that, despite of all challenges and adversities that we can encounter all around the world, our creativity can be used in an innovative way to solve local problems. I'm hoping to change paradigm, push people to dream and undergo risk. It is not because you are rich that you should waste material. It is not because you are poor that you should not try to create quality. Everyone deserves quality, everyone deserves luxury, and everyone deserves comfort. We are interlinked and concerns in climate, democracy and scarcity are concerns for us all. His first international recognition begins with a simple but exceptional project for a school in Gandu, Burkina Faso. He came up with a solution to solve the lack of lighting and ventilation in the educational buildings by using local resources. So, using local construction techniques and materials such as the clay rubber bricks, it was possible to reduce the cost and create a solution adapted to the hot climate. The bricks provide a thermal protection in the walls and combined with windows and perforations in the clay ceilings, allows natural ventilation to refresh the interior of the classrooms. The building is covered by a metallic roof detached from the ceiling to allow cross ventilation and maximize protection against the hot sun and tropical rains. 
And the most interesting in this project is that Francis Carey involved all the community in the construction process, showing that even with a low budget, it is possible to build something efficient and sustainable if they work together. In 2017, Carey designed the Serpentine Pavilion in London, which is a temporary installation built every year by a prestigious architect as an artistic and architectural experimentation. He created a space where people could be together, protected under an organic structure, the same way people used to gather in his village under a tree to reflect about the day. The roof was a metallic structure covered by wooden shading elements, creating transparency and dynamic shadows through the day. And at the center of the roof was open to contemplate the sky and the rain, allowing the nature to be part of the building. The pavilion included different meeting spaces, slightly separated by curved surfaces, to create a fluid circulation system. These curved walls were an assembly of wood elements that create a geometric pattern inspired in nature and African culture. And that is often the main inspiration in all career projects, the respect for his heritage and the focus in natural and local materials. It is truly an inspiration for a more eco-friendly architecture. Currently under construction, the new Benin National Assembly is another magnificent example of how Francis Carey incorporates cultural identity into a modern and sophisticated building. The project is a modern interpretation of an old African tradition of meeting under the tree to discuss the interests of the community. So the building emerged from the ground like a tree with a dynamic structure creating amazing interior and exterior spaces. The assembly hall will be under this organic ceiling, and at the core of the tree, he designed a courtyard to create a strong connection between the building and the nature, and maximizing the sunlight and the natural ventilation. From the outside, the building is open to the city, inviting the citizens to participate and celebrate democracy, into a public space that also allows recreation activities. I hope his architecture practice inspired a whole new African society and encouraged them to embrace their culture and express their values in a unique and modern way, free of the colonist aesthetic and full of equality. Thank you so much for watching.